The Doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at hypothyroidism. Now this is uh, something I have a lot of people attending my clinic asking me about on a regular basis. Um, so in this video, what I'm going to detail is what is hypothyroidism and um, how it is treated and could you have it? So our story begins here with this, uh, on the anatomy board here, this little diagram. This is of a female here. And what this is trying to show you is uh, that there's a gland in your neck that looks like a butterfly or like the infinity symbol. Uh, if you remove a flap of skin here, open my neck, you would see that there's a gland there. And that gland is called a thyroid gland. <clears throat> now you don't pay much attention to it. It doesn't ask for much, it's quiet most of the time. But what is important about that gland is that it produces a master hormone called thyroxine, the chemical structure of which looks like this. Now this unassuming little molecule that looks a little bit like an insect or a spider, um, when it is secreted from the gland into your body, it passes through your bloodstream and every cell that it comes into contact is almost like King Midas magic touch. When it touches a cell through its receptors, it tells that cell to begin stoking up its furnaces uh, increase its mitochondrial activity, start burning up more fuel, burn faster, hotter, brighter. That is what the thyroid hormone does. So you can immediately see that if you're not getting enough of this hormone, you're going to have a serious energy crisis. And we can detail that in more um, granular detail here with this other slide. These are the signs and symptoms that you'll have if you're not getting enough of that Midas touch um, hormone. So general things would be stuff like fatigue. You feel tired, you feel cold, you gain weight. And again, the gaining weight is because all the cellular metabolism processes that normally would burn your energy are sluggish. So the ener excess energy you have just gets shunted into uh, making fat hair loss, uh, shortness of breath, pleural effusion. This is actually rare. Most cases of um, hypothyroidism don't get to this point in this day and age. Most people will go and see their family doctor before they get to this point. But in severe cases of um, hypothyroidism, which is called uh, myxedema, um, you can get, the, your heart function can actually become so poor from lack of energy that you start to retain fluid, uh, which can be reflected in um, fluid collection in the lungs, causing shortness of breath. Again, I don't see that very often. Um, skin, I would ignore that again. This myxedema, um, oh, there it is right there. This myxedema condition, again, you're not gonna see that in, in regular practice. Uh, intestines, uh, constipation, again, because uh, there's less movement of the muscular structures. Um, ascites, that's just fluid collection. I explained why you get fluid collection already. Uh, reproductive, um, you can get heavy periods. Um, extremities, carpal tunnel syndrome. Now this is an interesting one. Why would you get carpal tunnel syndrome, which is just um, uh, occlusion, not, not so much occlusion, but um, compression of the nerve that runs into your hand, causing your fingers to tingle. Well, the reason for that is, again, because of fluid retention. There's a very small space that that median nerve runs through. If you get, um, if you get swelling around here, the nerve will get pinched, and you get numb in your, in your um, fingers. Then you also get coldness, which we explained already. Um, muscular uh, delayed reflex. This is something that you personally wouldn't notice yourself, but if you came into my office and I took my uh, patella tendon and bounced it on, on your knee or elbow, what I'd see is that instead of a nice brisk reflex or knee jerk, you'll have like a delayed sluggish um, one. And then in the heart system, what you'll notice is um, a slow pulse rate, 60 or less. Um, Hoarseness, this is, again is not a very common one you would notice. Most people present to, for treatment uh, before they get to that point. Uh, poor hearing, I'm not sure where that came from. Um, I didn't make this slide, so uh, I'd strike this one out. Um, psychological, poor memory and concentration. Again, that's because of the mental fog or mental fatigue because of the lack of um, global energy production of your body. So that in a nutshell is um, the symptoms that you can experience if you or someone you know is suffering with hypothyroidism. So how do you treat it? Well, real simple. 
um, if you consider my hands here, if this is the normal amount of uh, thyroid hormone that you're supposed to, your body's supposed to be producing for all of your cellular functions to function like a normal person, or so, uh, sorry, say this is what you're supposed to be producing up here. This is the bar, and this is what you're producing down here. Well, then what we do is we just uh, fill that gap, that deficit there between this level that's normal and this level that you're producing. We use artificial versions of the same thyroid hormone and fill that deficit. So we determine based on your um, lab results where you are here and then we just replace it um, to fill that gap back up to where it should be. <clears throat> so this is a, a picture here actually of um, a, a real brand called um, Synthroid. And um, unfortunately um, to treat it that replacement has to be done for the rest of your life, just like somebody taking insulin for a problem with their pancreas not producing insulin. If you're not producing enough thyroid hormone, you have to take the artificial version of the hormone uh, by tablet once a day, lifelong. At least in this case, you do, there's no needles involved, it's just a tablet every day. But the difference that that can make in the quality of uh, someone's life is almost um, immeasurable. So for that one little pill a day, you can go from feeling very shoddy, under the weather, unable to cope with life, to beaming with energy and feeling full of zest for life. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, hypothyroidism in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you updated as I upload new videos. So you have a great rest of your day. Stay well. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.